When we look at objects in the 3D world, whether it be naturally, or in AR and VR environments, we move our gaze both side to side as well as far to near and near to far. Far to near and near to far gaze movements are referred to as vergence eye movements and are generally slow in nature. Meanwhile, side to side gaze movements are called saccades and are much faster than vergence movements. But what happens when we make combined gaze movements where both classes of movements happen simultaneously? Studies observed that combined movements are faster than pure vergence movements due to the saccadic component of motion. However, we found that if the amplitude of the saccadic movement is too large, the overall movement slows down. In this work we ask the question, how does the vergence and saccadic amplitudes of an overall combined gaze movement affect its completion time? Due to the inconsistent nature of human eye movements, we present a probabilistic model which depicts how long it takes for our gaze to complete movement to a target 3D stimulus. Our model densely interpolates between observed data from our user study to predict the completion time of a combined movement. This visualization demonstrates how the probability distribution of gaze offset times change as the amplitudes of movement are varied. We leverage our model for various applications such as to measure the difficulty of playing video games in 3D compared to in 2D, as well as to alter the layout of visual targets for peak task performance in AR and VR. To this end, we conducted a psychophysical study with controlled stimuli to measure the time it takes for human subjects to move their gaze to target stimuli at various 3D positions. Our study created more than 10,000 human behavior trials. By analyzing the patterns and trends of the data, we also established a closed-form probabilistic model that allows us to treat 3D gaze movements holistically for downstream applications. To evaluate our work, we first measure our model's statistical accuracy and generalizability by partitioning the dataset in various ways. Further, we also conducted an evaluation user study with natural AR and VR scenarios and unseen conditions. The results demonstrate our model's capability of proposing visual target locations that accelerate or slow down users' performance. Please refer to the manuscript for further details about the evaluations. Thank you for watching.